Ace, thank you for joining us here on Flight 1080. Billy Army is joining us. Billy, can I get a mic check there? Mic check, mic check. No, okay, now mic try check, it again. Mic check, mic check. Hello. We go. In the air. How, how are you doing? Co-piloting with Dave Michaels on Flight 1080. I'm great, Dave. How are you? I'm feeling right. real excited today. Yeah. Really happy to be here again, and right. we're going to have a great show because summer is coming up. It is coming up, right? The kids are I think out it's, of school. No, it's not here and, already, right? It's not here officially. It's upon us. Uh, it's it's uh, coming up upon us. And, uh, man, summer is great around here. And I wanted to talk a little bit today about, like, places to hang out, uh, oh, coffee nice. shops. or you mean, like, you know, the, boardwalk? the boardwalk? or whatever it might be. You know, I used to hang out down at that Cafe Pergolesi. You ever go to that one, Dave? The one that's not open anymore? Yeah, they closed yeah, down. Man, I used yeah. to hang out there back in the 90s when they had all the hipster, uh, the greasers used to go there. Remember that? All the no. greasers would hang out? I never went to do it. Yeah, man, like all that. of the greasers, they used to hang out there. And uh, I used to go there every night. And I'll tell you what, Dave, I had a crush on this gal, this lady. That worked there? No, she just used to hang out there. She was, was she kinda, homeless? She, no, no, she was kind of like she a 50s out pickup gal. Like, it was, it was summertime, Dave, for fun, for fun. Oh, and nice. this one time I had a crush on her, a huge crush. And I swear this is a true story. And one day I finally got up the nerve, and she's sitting out on the, on the back patio, you know. And, and I walk up to her real nice and everything. And she's sitting there just by herself. And, uh, and, I, and, I, and I stand in there. I go, hey, how's it going? And that was the response I got. Dead oh, silence. Man, she did dude. not even acknowledge my existence, Dave. I was sitting oh, two feet from her. That's kind of rude. Felt, oh, man, I felt real. Uh, I handled it well, though. I didn't freak out. I was just kind of like, hmm. And then I left. <laughs> But I used to like hanging out there, and I still used to, and I hung out there even after that because I enjoyed it. Uh -huh. um, but you know, it, it, the luster was a little bit gone. So I want to talk about places to hang out. Uh, you know, summertime. Where's your All favorite right. hangout spots? Where's your one of your favorite hangout spots? Uh, my favorite, one of my favorite hangout spots is just around the corner from the radio station. But I'd rather not say it because then everybody's going to go out there and start hanging out there. Oh, and right. It'll be full of nerds. Well, we know. want callers to call in for, you know, as much as we have tourists in this area. We do have a lot of tourists. we love the tourist economy. Right. I want to get locals calling in. Tell, well, tell us about, about out-of-the-way places that you like to hang out during the summer. Um, little eateries, little, uh, you know. I don't go hiking or anything like that, so I don't know about places should. like that. Right. You, you done any hiking this weekend, Dave? No. No hiking for Dave. Oh, no. Of course I do. I mean, that's, like, that's like breathing. That's, of course I go hiking. Uh, this week I went to Nizine Marks. How far went is for you? for a 15-mile hike. 15, you, did 50, 50. you did 15 miles? 1.5, not 50. Oh, 1.5 1. 1. 5 miles. <laughs> no, not 1.5 miles. Are my miles, headphones dude? working? Are What's you going kidding on me, here? dude? 1.5 miles, 15 miles. You did miles. 15 miles, yes, really? Yes, yes. Wow, I am super impressed. 1.5. The farthest. Wow, dude, they, that's like a half-hour walk. That's like man, a, the a farthest, 45 minutes. The farthest walk. that I've ever walked was uh, the time I. Uh, oh, I saw you. I saw jail. you save the, the ducks and, oh, uh, yeah. and, and Soquel the other day, right? Yeah. When did this happen? Soquel Village, that was yesterday morning. Did, did, and was I was there, grabbing a coffee. Were you and, trying to uh, impress somebody, or what was? why did you do that? Well, because no, the you ducks. You put your life there in was danger. A lot of, You're lucky well, you didn't get hit by Soquel a Soquel Village, it was a red light. It had just started to go green. And the thing was, is that those ducks were across the, st the street there in the middle of Soquel Village. And I thought it only appropriate to, you know, I was cautious, and they did need an assistance there uh, because. You know, nobody w saw them at first. They were just hanging out. They were waiting for an opportunity on the side of the road, and that's what I facilitated. I said, "Come on, duckies!" And then at the end, I did a promo for kids. You know, I, I was uh, I was kind of sad that some of those cars didn't stop. They just kind of swerved around the little ducks. If they yeah, had walked a little bit they faster, they may not have been. Uh, could see them too good. That's why. Uh, tall, were you wearing that, that sweatshirt? Uh, I did not have the bright green. Uh, yeah. Now, if you were wearing on. that, everybody would have seen you. Everybody would. Those have Those sweatshirts are nice, right? You know, I love These the sweatshirt, but yes, I realized yes. that uh, wearing it out in public and everything, that you know, uh, construction to workers wear the similar green color. Right. So people think I'm a construction worker. Yes. So Undercover. that's cool. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm totally fine with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Do we have a Do we have a caller, Dave? Oh yes, we do. I just wanted to hear more about your, your uh, interaction with this duck family. So they all made it fine. They, they made it to the other side of the curb, well, the other creek. Well, the reality is, is I cut the promo, and I don't ever heard back from them after. That's Hollywood, baby. It's tough. Isn't there some Chinese it's, restaurants out? out oh, or some? I don't know about that, David. Is it, that's a nice uh, little intersection there. It is There's a beautiful all kinds of, intersection. All kinds of restaurants. It uh, is a beautiful ducks, place, beautiful intersection. Those ducks might have ended up on the menu so somewhere. We have a caller, don't we? Yes, we do. All right. Caller, are you uh, in the air? Flight Richard, 1080. calling from Pacific Grove. What's up, Richard? Yeah, hey, did you mention you, you hung around with greasers? Well, what no. do you consider a greaser? 
What's a California greaser? Well, sir, I would not know the technical definition of a California greaser, but back in the 90s... Sounds like something you would order. It was just, you know, it was the young people, and they wear the, the jeans rolled up and the white T-shirts, the men, the ladies had the, you know, they look like you the You mean like, like the Fonz? You know, like Arthur Fonz or Rally? Or that, what, what? that would be an accurate assessment, sure. Yeah, okay. That's, no, I didn't. I just never heard it. But I was not a greaser myself. Uh, I don't know what I was. I'm still trying to figure that one yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I was probably a greaser for a year or two back in New York, so I hadn't heard it for so long. So that's why I was asking about California. Yeah, we yeah. used to stand on the corners, our hair back, T-shirts, cigarettes in our uh, shirts, and, you know, trying to be cool. Trying to be cool, to be that's cool. right. You're not trying cool to be cool people. if you're there dressed was... like that. You are cool, Rich. Yeah, Thank you for cool the call, 479-1080. That kind of Jim, James Dean or Jimmy Dean? I got dissed by that gal, though. Hey, you know what? We have a special guest also today. Yes, I do. brought in a uh, very special guest, and it's going to be great for our KSCO audience. Robin the Millennial is going to be joining us uh, in the next hour, and he's a real-life millennial. Can you believe it, Dave? What do you mean? You he's mean a like millennial. The guy, he's a you mean like the guy who got kicked male. out? But his, his parents kicked him out. Did you see this? 30 now, days, 30 now, days is now, up. He, he did move Dave, out. Dave, Yes. Here's the thing about millennials. I yes. tried to look it up because there's different ideas of what uh, identifies a millennial, you know. I was, and gonna, I was wondering, to the too. Internet, I, I was going to look it up on the Internet, but I didn't yeah. want to seem like some old generation Xer. And, you know, well, I, but, no, so I, but I, think be you are, I, I think you are a Gen Xer. What the hell like am I? Myself. Am I a Gen I think what is a Gen it? Okay, so what is a millennial? Well, according to the Internet, uh, they put the time period born, anyone born in the, uh, the period of 1981 to 2001. Now, oh. it's interesting that they put it that early, but they do yeah, right. because they say that uh, gen, Generation Y and Z are considered millennials. So you're correct about uh, you being Generation X and myself. X. So that's how they technically define the millennial generation. I think more of us think of it as people being more born in, like, the 90s uh, as uh, Robin the Millennial is and was, and he's going to be a guest here, taking your phone calls because Good. millennials have a, a bad rap they out there. They do have a bad People rap. You know, this story, this story right here where, where everyone's just kind of bagging on this guy who uh, didn't want to move out of his parents' house. Oh, that fellow. Th this story right here really, um, I've been really wanting, wanting to talk about it because I think everyone just kind of um, treats it like as if though it's, it's a, a joke, but it's not a joke. Dude. There, there's so much here that goes Should into the story. Should we talk about it now? If you want, I mean... Uh, Let's go for it. I, I, I've only heard rumblings about the story. Uh, I haven't really looked into it too much myself, so I don't know the details of it. What? Are you serious? I am serious. What, what, what have you been doing? I've You're not been, paying attention? Uh, oh, no, hey. I've been uh, trying oh. to get Rob in the morning. I, I, got, I, got I, uh, I got a movie in the mail the other day, and mm -hmm. I, it was uh, Humanoids from the Deep. Have you ever seen that movie? I have not. I've okay. not even heard I, of it. I put it in into the... the, the uh, what is that, a VHS player? Cause, what is that? A, oh, it's a VHS. It's, a, it's an actual tape. Oh, no, I'm just trying to sound. DVD player. A DVD player. My Xbox. I put it in the Xbox, and I'm playing Xbox. it. Xbox. And, and it starts off, and I'm thinking, holy cow, this movie is horrible. Have you ever watched a movie like that that you thought was great? You watch it as an and adult, and, you, and, and you go, oi. God. Yeah, there's right. been some. Uh, nothing is coming to the top of my head. Well, Humanoids Although, from the Deep, um, I thought was one of those movies. So hmm. it starts off and it's terrible acting and it's all campy and, and, and uh, but it is a fantastic movie, dude! Wow, what a great flick that was! That was a fantastic I have, movie. I loved it. I have not seen that. So one. now I ordered Chud. Chud is oh, on its way. Oh, that sounds like is that a, about a dog or no? What? That's a, you, you, you've never heard of that. You're a Generation Chud, Xer yeah. and you've never heard of Chud. I have never heard I, uh, C H U D. I've heard the word Chode, but that's a whole different show, Dave. <laughs> this is Chud. C H U D, cannibalistic oh. humanoid underground dwellers, and this was this took place in the eighties, and this was about homeless people that went, uh, you know, they were living under the streets and in the mm -hmm. sewers, and some, uh, you know, some big company out there was dumping toxic chemicals into the sewer, and it got all over these homeless people, and they started growing. Yeah, really? Because yes. I was just about to mention the their movie Toxic glow. Avenger. It's like that. It's like well, that. Their eyes glow, and they they you know, have a, a lust for blood. And they go wow. and eat the people up on top. It's great. It's wow. fantastic. Wow, it sounds wild, but your original is story is, I have a similar experience, although the opposite, and that is back when I was a boy and that film, The Toxic Avenger, came out, I wasn't really into it, not a big fan of it, but I saw it recently, actually last week, yeah. and I was watching it, and I'd never really seen it, and I love it. I think it's hilarious. Really? I got, the yeah. humor of it. I, I, I've you know, seen clips I of it, too. It. And it's that, funny. When I was a kid, dude, to tell you the truth, um, a few movies stick in my head. Number one was Humanoids from the Deep, and I remember why now too. The, the way it ends—if if this is a spoiler, this is a spoiler alert. 
The way it ends is th there's these monsters, right? These mutated monsters, and, they, and they're doing all they're terrorizing the town. And and this woman gives birth to this monster, and it just busts out of her belly like like from Alien. Does it go like that? <laughs> <laughs> the movie was creepy, and I, I always I never watched it again. I watched it once because it was so creepy. And the other one was uh, holy cow, what was the other one? You were just you were just talking about it. Toxic Avenger, Toxic of course. Avenger, yes. And, and so when I watch the clips from it now, it, it looks funny. It looks great. It is funny. It is great. Did you, see, uh, did you ever see the Reanimator? Oh no, I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen. Serious? I have not seen a lot of uh, films. But the guy, the guy, um, the guy can uh, bring nature. dead things back to life. I never saw that one. Sounds like a good what, one. Dude? Uh, see, I'm missing out some good films yes. out there. And you, you, these these have been out forever. I mean, that's they're free. Oh, man. Never seen that one. I think Robin. When we get Robin the Millennial in here, I think he's gonna. Yeah, that sucks to be a millennial. Uh, well, we're gonna find out. Well, maybe not. And we want callers. You know, uh, uh, but you know what? You know what would suck. We had better movies. I think we had fantastic movies in the eighties, right? We had fantastic entertainment. We had video games and uh, movies, and that is right. But nowadays, the media is so fractured, and uh, you know, anybody can make a movie with uh, bubble gum and their cell phone. It seems like. So it's like, it's just it's just a different place, a different time, you know? You know what? And Robin maybe, the Millennial is from a different time period. So yeah, it's and you know what? He, maybe he is luckier than us because uh, he has more time to goof around with all this gadget, gadgetry than we do. You're right? He's going he's to live longer, so he's going to see a lot more. Hopefully he will. Oh, hopefully, right? Um, unless he gets hit by a drone or something. You know, these millennials, they want, they want automated everything. He could be hit by a drone or a self-driving car. Anything is a possibility here, Dave. Yeah. Anything could happen. In the future, anything can happen. And he's going to live longer into the future than we are, probably. And probably. so he, he's going to get to see more stuff. Well, you are absolutely correct about that, Dave. Hopefully he'll get hemorrhoids. I mean, just, you know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to be mean, but uh, that comes I, along with getting uh, older, I heard. I don't know about the hemorrhoids thing. Or 7, 9, 10, But yeah, the millennials is uh, very interesting. And I did more research on the internet, and uh, apparently there's a book that came out called, if I uh, have it here in my notes, The Fourth Turning, which actually gets into uh, defining generations like X, uh, millennials per mm. se, Y and Z and all that. But in this book, they were talking about, they define the millennials similar here to 1982, as I said, to 2001. But in the book, uh, the similar generation of millennials was actually the World War II generation. And what, what this do you mean? Well, the book goes into talking about history. Uh, I think it goes back more, you know, recent history, like 200, 300 years, and talking about generations and the cycles. In other words, um, what that generation represents or the mindset. And according to this book, there, the mindset of the, the millennial is very similar to that of the World War II generation. Uh, in, in and you'll actually way? see that. They're more conservative, Dave. They're more conservative. It's interesting. You're giving me that weird look. You're, you're telling me, well, uh, because I think my ears are, are, are hearing things backwards. Uh, you're telling me that con uh, millennials are more conservative than their parents? Absolutely. 100%. Definitely. There's Where been did a rejection. You read this? Well, Mad Magazine? I mean, Where did we you can read have this? someone call in. If anybody knows millennials out there, I think you'll find this to be uh, true. A lot of them are much more conservative, uh, they distrust the media. Um, uh, they're four, seven, much nine, more on 10, the ball than, uh, you know, some generations, I'd say, Dave. 479-1080, this is Billy Army here, much Flight 1080. Much more on the ball. And Dave Michaels, hmm. Flight 1080. I don't know, I don't know that that's true. More, much more on the ball, as in how, as in what? More socially aware? I would more, see that they have uh, I, I a much more skeptical eye as to what's going on in American oh, society it, and what might you, you, one you call the American dream. You say that because you weren't around in the 60s. Right, I mean, th uh, those people not. were were uh, skeptical. Um, mm, you know, th th that is true. You're just you just haven't been around. We haven't been around in these well, different right, generations dude. to compare them. Uh, but I find it very hard to believe that millennial millennials. The guys are coming out of college now. Mil millennials, yes, yes. The guys coming out of college now would uh, be millennials. Yeah, uh, that, I just uh, I would yeah. I don't see it that way. You don't maybe, see maybe, it that way. Maybe I'm just. Maybe I have tainted vision or maybe my... Well, but tainted, we have to remember that not everyone goes to college, Dave, and uh, most millennials, you know, uh, don't. Is it tainted or tinted glasses? Um, <laughs> it'd be tinted Dude, glasses. That that, uh, that last uh, tasty or tainted trivia thing... Tasty or tainted trivia, That man. was fun. That we had a great that, time, that, I thought. That was a lot of fun. I'm going to take the kids uh, the losing drink. I'm going to take some home tonight for them. That would well, be the corn flavored. You know, uh, we're going to do tasty and tainted uh, trivia. I'm going to be on next Friday, Dave. We're going to do it again. And this time, 
Uh, I'm not going to spoil you with the categories, but I will tell you the types of uh, treats we're going to be uh, tasting. Okay. Hopefully they're tasty, not tainted. And that is we're going to be doing Mexican candies. Mexican oh, candies. Oh, all right. Yeah. All different types of Mexican candies. And hopefully um, we can get, um, you know, Susan is here, whoever is in the station, we're going to get them, rouse, you know, wrangle Even, them in here. How about here Phil? And, uh, can, we can we get Phil up here? I think so. Yeah. So next week on Friday, we're going to be doing it again for the second time, Billy's. Tasty and Tainted Trivia. All right. Sounds good. 4791080. you related to him, possibly, but maybe you're cooler than him. Robert the Millennial, thank you for joining us. What's going on, baby? Not too much, Billy. What's going on today? Well, today is going to be a great day in excitement. Turn that up, Dave. Here it is. This is what I'm talking about. I do think a lot of millennials hate a lot of things. <laughs> this guy doesn't like nothing. Yeah, they don't like anything, it seems like. And everybody's perception of millennials... It's a tainted perception. But there's out a lot there. to and hate out there. There is a lot to hate out there. What did you think is the worst film that's out there right now, Rob and the Millennial? You don't know what the worst the, film the, out there? What's the, what was the last film that you saw? Uh, the last the film I saw was with my girlfriend. It was Suicide Squad. I definitely hated that. Suicide Squad. I don't even know who's in that. Uh, Jared Leto and Will Smith. So you'd think it would be a good film, but it really wasn't. Wow. Did that, come out, did that come out uh, recently? Recently enough. And then I saw Black Panther. Oh, how was that? What did you think about that? Black Panther was okay. I mean, after a while, you'd hope Marvel would get it down, and they kind of did. Nothing compared to DC, though. Have, have you gone to see, or are you going to see the new uh, Solo movie, the new Star Wars movie? Are you into Star I mean, are millennials into Star Wars? Like um, Most are, yeah, yeah, but I'm not. Uh, I like the original Star Wars. The original, the original Star Wars is the bomb, man. I love the and original And the original was the first three, right? The, the first three stories kind of like in the middle. Yeah, you know, four, five, and uh, six. I get yeah. so confused over you know, it. I don't, don't want to nerd crazy. out and lose people here. But let's get the ball rolling. And I have a few questions here for Robin the Millennial just to kind of prime the audience okay. for their calls because I really do want anyone and everyone to call in with your uh, valuable speak questions. speak to a live millennial. A live millennial. Robin the Millennial is here. You make it sound like he's a, and a, I'm gonna, a, a, a rare breed. I know, right? Like some <laughs> zoo display or something. Well, yeah. I mean, talk that's to a, just talk to a live millennial. It's Robin the Millennial, Dave. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna get, okay, here we go. Here we go. So here we go, Robin. You do not know these questions. I'm just going to raffle them off to get a little taste of your personality and whatnot. Have you seen the film It's a Wonderful Life? I have seen that. What did you think of it? You I liked that? it. Yeah, Jimmy Stewart, right? Yeah, yeah. That is yeah. correct. Oh, well, you liked it. All right. Have you ever seen uh, the TV show Cheers? Yeah, I didn't like that show. Didn't like that. Uh, I kind of hated it. Kind of hated it, he <laughs> says. Mm. What about the show uh, Frasier? No, I didn't watch Frasier either. Didn't watch Frasier either. Uh, either. Uh, would you say that you hated it? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> mm, great. Okay, so uh, how about this? Here's a good one. Here's a good one. Um, uh, you don't watch a lot of television, do you? It just seems like a lot of not a lot of millennials watching that TV. But I watch a lot of The Simpsons. But Simpsons? recently, yeah. I hate that too. Well, see, there you go. There you go. Well, what about uh, who was or is your favorite SNL cast member? That now this is the key. That isn't Christopher Walken. That isn't fat or overweight. Christopher, Christopher Walken. Well, but hold on a second. Christopher Walken was never a cast member. He's only been a, a host. Of what? So ca SNL, SNL, Saturday Night huh? Live, your favorite Saturday Night Live cast member that isn't overweight. Now, the reason I put that in there is because can you, give you me can a easily few? say uh, John Belushi or Chris Farley, but I want you to think deeper than that. John Belushi's fat. I know. I was just clarifying. Aren't <laughs> you listening? <laughs> no, but Eddie yeah. Murphy, was, was he on? Was, was he, uh, uh, Eddie Murphy was a cat. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Eddie Murphy. Member. Oh, totally. There you go. Yeah. Well, thanks, Dave, for your. I'm sorry about <laughs> that. Thank you, Dave. I'll turn off my okay, mic. okay, no, no, that's cool. That's cool. All right. Okay, what? Oh, how about this is a good one. This is a good one. What about what film do you really hate that everyone else seems to love out there? Uh, Ghostbusters. Now wait, the original Ghostbusters? Yeah, yeah, the original wow. Ghostbusters. Wow, I can hear uh, some people on the Flight 1080 audience getting riled up, angry. Oh yeah, we're getting we're some get calls. A, gonna, we're going to get some calls definitely. We're going to continue on with our questions here. We're going to save calls till after the break here. On uh, Flight 1080, I'm Billy Army. We've got Dave Michaels with us. And Robin the Millennial is our guest waiting. And then after the break, he's going to take your calls. You can speak to a real live millennial. All right, next question. Do you know who Don Knotts is? He's a classic film actor, yeah? A classic film actor. I mean, you could say, much he, you could say he's a classic film actor because he was in uh, The Andy Griffith Show. 
Okay. And he was in The Ghost is, and is Mr. Classic? Chicken. That's a classic film, The yeah, Ghost and yeah. Mr. Chicken. Mr. Limpet. You ever seen Mr. Limpet? Ron? No, I don't know about any of those. Mr. Limpet, uh, do you, what about Three's a Company? Have you seen that? I have. Okay, now Don Knotts played, I, I think it was like five, Mr. Though. Furley. He played Mr. Furley. Or was it Mr. Roper? One of the two. Furley, Mr. But then he Furley. was also in a film called uh, that Mr. Limpet one where he played an animated fish. You ever see that? No, but it sounds very fishy. Do you think you'd like it? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, what about the, uh, the actor? Uh, do you know who uh, Paul Rubens is? Yeah, I do know who Paul Rubens is. Are you a fan of him? He's uh, Pee Wee Herman, right? He is Pee Wee Herman. That is correct. Yeah, he gets a pass. You he know? gets a pat, but you wouldn't say that you necessarily like him. I'd actually say I do. Oh, I think he's a pretty wow. interesting guy, and he uh, did a lot. Okay, okay. Well, let's move on to a different uh, topic Before his time, what about, I mean. What about, uh, what is your, you know, and I'm curious, because a lot of times on this program, for like 1080, 479-1080 for your calls here, get on with Robin the Millennial, ask him a question, and that is, uh, I like to eat uh, fried bologna. So my Who question doesn't? to you, yeah, that's right. Mm. My question to you, uh, Rob in the Millennial, is uh, what is your uh, favorite meat product? Uh, salami. Ah, yes, the good old salami. That also is my one of my favorite meat products. Uh, but the pork roll is also quite, quite delicious. All right, now uh, moving on to now. This is kind of a controversial question, and we are coming up on the break here soon, Dave. How, we got two minutes, something like that. We got two minutes. We got some text messages, and that is um, uh, as well. Rob and the millennial. Okay, and uh, this is a serious question. Um, is Madonna a hag in your eyes? As a film actress. As a film actress. Wow, I didn't think you'd even uh, respond. Uh, what about her music, musically? I mean, she's a classic. She's relevant. She's a classic. What, what, what do you consider to be Besides a classic? Besides her affected uh, British a classi- accent. A classic, a classic film. Because you were saying that uh, Don Knotts was a classic film actor. I think a lot going of people back how long? Would maybe argue that. But going, let's say, uh, well, the film is not actually that old. It's only been around 100 and some odd years. Um, maybe. Oldest I actor I probably know of is uh, Errol Flynn. Errol Flynn was cool. In the 30s. Actually. You know what's He's funny really is cool. you kind of look a little bit like Errol Flynn. You're uh, thin. You have a very uh, eloquent you, nose. Uh, your facial hair is quaffed. It is trimmed. You look uh, good. Your shirt's uh, a little disheveled, but that's part of the look, I take it. Yeah. Dark sunglasses. Uh, it was hot looking, out today. Uh, you had to smooth. enjoy the sun. Hot. And a beautiful beanie, black beanie cap atop your head with a... Uh, umbrella logo uh, is that uh, a band or something like that it is a band uh bring me the horizon i've never heard of who them. i hate now <laughs> ah they didn't they didn't make the cut huh they're no longer they're no longer cool huh no not the last couple albums what type of music is it it's uh more hard metal hard hardcore metal. thrash core i think it's All the right, sub genre cool. we could pull something out after the break so robin though we get uh back from the break we're gonna uh, take calls for you and you ever get, I mean, let's face it, I've, I've been around you when other people start bashing on millennials, and I got to say that in some ways, you know, I, I feel it's a little bit unfair, and I want to talk about why do people have a tainted perception of millennials? What do you, what do you think it is, uh, Robin? I think they're jealous from uh, a lot of older people I've talked to. They played with uh, Lincoln Logs when I was playing with uh, Sega Genesis, so. Yeah, so those old Lincoln Log players. Yeah. They're jealous. They're probably <laughs> jealous, isn't that right, Dave? Yeah, those guys. Yeah, those guys. But so, no, I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure why. Oh, all right. Um, I don't know what to say uh, now, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> did you play with Lincoln Logs, Billy? No. Well, the thing is, you Lincoln know you did, Logs. Dude. Lincoln now, Logs were cl- are classic. Lincoln Logs. I I I, I think I had Snap friends trains. that had them, but I never really played them per se. Uh, no, I was a. Uh, Big into playing things like I like to play uh, Clue, and then sometimes uh, I play Tiddlywinks, and then I, sometimes my grandmother and I would play that you game that those, Susan games Simon, sound lame, right? Susan I Simon think those used to play. Should be this called, game called I'm Bored Games. <laughs> That's what they I'm were. I'm Bored dude. Games. Good one. <laughs> Four seven nine one zero eight zero. Like ten eighty. KSEO Santa Cruz. We're back in the air with Billy Sunshine and you. Billy Sunshine. Billy Army. I've been no, more sorry about that. Billy Army. I got and you stuck if you in some weird us, film uh, like uh, Toxy and turned into Billy Sunshine. I got morphed into the other uh, Billy. DM How is case. Billy Sunshine doing out there? Anyways, we. Uh, well, doesn't he ever call in? Anymore? He calls in. Actually, he just had a show. What yesterday? He was on. Yeah. Did he? He still. Yeah. 
Wow, cool. All right, so we're back with uh, Robin the Millennial here, okay. and we're on Flight 1080. Hey, Robin, how you doing, buddy? Hey, I'm doing good. We haven't got any calls yet, but we're going to keep uh, delving into this millennial issue and why so many people out there seem to have a uh, tainted view of millennials and whatnot. And oh, I think we have tainted really... views of them, so it's, it's okay. You have tainted views of who? Everybody that doesn't like millennials. Is that true? Really? Wow. Yeah, the hate goes both well, ways. Well, I guess uh, I guess that probably is true. Well, now that you mention it, I mean, hey, look, you were dressed so fantastically. You have this beautiful outfit. Your style is uh, really rocking, as they say. And your hair, although it's a slightly bit disheveled, it's got a good look to it. It's a very rock and roll look almost. Um, what do you think about, uh, you know, uh, Dave Michaels' uh, attire over there, uh, his outfit? Uh, it's Robin. very, very basic. Very basic? What does yes. that mean? Uh, Kmart shopping, maybe? Kmart How shopping? How did you guess? Did I guess it right? You got it right, dude. I don't know if I got this at Target or Wait Kmart. a minute. Wait a minute. Take it know. easy. Take it easy. You can't be insulting Dave that's Michaels. That's not an insult. That's a, that's a, that's a compliment. That's you a go compliment? shopping at Goodwill. Yeah. I do shop at the Goodwill. Secondhand right? store Billy. I shop at the Goodwill. Secondhand Billy. Hey, I feel like I'm being attacked here. What's going on here? Just chill out. I'm trying to defend Dave Michaels, all right? Robin the Millennial, take it easy. All right. Now, your hair is beautiful, I must admit that. And uh, today, you've also brought with you a um, lovely friend of yours. We're not going to mention her name right now. Now, what do you think about uh, Dave Michaels? And then we'll come, we'll, we'll come to me next. Uh, what do you think about Dave Michaels' uh, hair? <laughs> it's a little bit thinning. Thinning, you say? He, huh? He, that's the word to use, thinning, Billy. Thinning. So you I say balding. What, I think the right every, word every is. Time you say hey, that, every time you bald. say that, I, I do get closer to mar <laughs> taking you off the calendar. <laughs> well, hold on. Thinning. What about what about my hair? What about my hair, uh, uh, Robin the Millennial? It's uh, interesting. Kind of look like the uh, guy in those old movies, Peter Lorre. Peter, oh, with the because uh, I with the uh, eyes and the, the hair. Eyes, yeah. Take it easy. You don't gotta be so insulting, Robin the Millennial. All right, all right. Just take sorry, it not easy. Sorry. All right. Now, what about this new film that's just come out? And nowadays, everything is CGI. It seems like the millennials love that CGI. Do you love that CGI, Robin the Millennial? When it's done right. Otherwise, I hate it. Did you see Infinity Wars? I did. What did you think? It was okay. There were a few good jokes. It was no Deadpool, but you know, it's all right. What did you think of Deadpool? I thought Deadpool was great. The second was one great. was okay. All right, all right, beautiful. Well, here we are with Robin the Millennial, 25 years old, a uh, young man in his prime yeah, if you sitting here. you want to speak to a live millennial, right? That's right. You call up, you dial 479 What kind of 1080. questions would you ask a millennial? What kind well, of questions? Well, any what? kinds of you questions. Can ask us I mean, anything. We can ask him anything, Dave. Do you have a question for Robin the Millennial? Yeah, who'd you vote for? Ooh. 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 <laughs> well, where's that uh, in mind today? Uh, I Rob, think Robin? this uh, last election was uh, Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders first, and then Trump. That is what I was see, Dave. Like I was saying earlier, a lot of these millennials uh, lean conservative. When you say that that is true, Robin, the millennial, well, I'd know. say so. Yeah. What do you think about Hillary Clinton? Uh, the lesser of two evils. I voted for Trump. The lesser of two evils. He voted for Trump. <laughs> KSC audience. Bernie we Sanders. have Robin, the millennial here. 25 years old, going to take your calls up. on 479 1080. Dave Michaels, Flight 1080, and I'm co hosting. I'm Billy Army. This is going to be uh, exciting. It's great to have Robin here. Taking, we have a call, Dave? Yeah, we got a couple calls. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's take a call. All right, 479 1080. If you want to get on board, let's see who it is. Paul is calling from Watsonville hey, here Paul? in the air. Yes, good topic. Uh, let's see, I got two questions. Uh, number one, with regards to not liking people that don't like millennials, obviously within the millennial group, there's probably some things that they do that either rub you the wrong way or not. What would some of those be? Um, well, the misconceived notion that millennials are just stupid and don't really know anything. And other millennials think that about each other? For the most part, yeah. Millennials don't oh, okay. really get along as much. Is that, is as, that really true? Yeah, millennials don't I really get that. along that well. It's kind of a love-hate relationship. Now, my thinking, and uh, caller, do you have anything else to add to that? Uh, yeah, I would say it's, it's just interesting to see because 
I've got a 30 something son and we still seem to have some things in common, but when you get together with his group of uh, peers, then you definitely see a bit of a different atmosphere, but every, you know, I'm not, I don't have anything against them, but it's just looking at almost people from a different country, so to speak. And that, right. A different country is correct. You know, and then the other one, I guess, uh, would just be, uh, have you ever shot a gun before? Um, when I was younger, yeah, just mostly BB guns. Okay. I'm and just Robin, curious, uh, just, pardon me. I was going to ask Robin uh, just real quickly that you mentioned that if he's uh, fired a weapon, is uh, you grew up in California? Is that correct, Robin? I did, yes. Right. So you probably weren't necessarily exposed to in California. We don't uh, really roll per se that much uh, going to the gun range. I mean, we have one in all of Santa Cruz County, uh, right, Dave? Out there no, I always was too busy range, to go to the shooting range, but I would. Thank you for your call, Paul. Willing to try. Thank Paul. you, Paul. Thanks for the call. Uh, DM at KSU.com. 218 Hey, Billy, someone says that, you know, that cafe you used to go to where you had a crush on oh, the yes. chick? Oh, yes. Cafe That shot you down? Per- that is correct. That shot me down cold. It she was shot cold you down blooded. cold. Pergolases? Yeah. Cafe uh, Pergolases. Per- per- That's Lassie. correct. It was I think bug- it was just called Pergs. Well, the That's cool the people call it. call it. Yeah, the millennials call the, it. But the cool well, people, Well, I yeah. used to call it the Perg. And I was the never perg. a millennial, but I called it the Perg. Like when I would go out and say, I'm going to the Perg. Sounds like Central Friends. Because, you know, you shorten things out. You want to say, the perg say It takes too long, right? You got yeah, things yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah. The perg. We want the perg. Yeah. Uh, bugged Birds. by the feds. Did you know that? Did Are you, you, do you remember that story? Yeah. And I, bugged I, by the... No, I, I, I don't I remember. This and, and, Cafe um, Pergolese was It was an animal rights feds? activist who, who uh, did a, a bombing. He did a fire bombing of somebody up at UCSC. Is and, and he used right? to hang out at Cafe Pergolese, and the feds went down there and bugged the the cafe. Whoa! Yeah. I wonder if that I so. wonder if that conversation happened uh, when I was and that's on tape somewhere on some feds tape me going up going, hi my name is uh, Billy Army uh, I think you're cool. No I didn't say that I said hi how's it? all I said was here's the thing about it that really riles me up is all that I said to her was I said I said hi. How's well, it going? if you said it like that, I wouldn't respond. talk to you either. Well, I'm excited now about it, but when I was there, right, I was just, if you go over there, I walked yelling up, at her. I walked up, and, up and, and I was like, and I was like, I was like, hey, how's it going? That'll creep her that's out too. No timid. response. That's well, timid. Well, I said it in a normal timid, dude. voice. That's, he's saying it's sexy. Creepy. Yeah, it's kind of creepy, I, though, right? Wow, come on, guys. Hey, There's a difference between know? sexy and creepy. Sa- it was just me saying, hello, hi, how's it going? How you doing? You know, that's all. How you doing? And no response, though. The, the fact that there was no response as if uh, she was a deaf mute is the part that really got me. We've got a call. Uh, 47928. Let's head out to Aptos. Jimmy, thank you for your call. You're in the air. What's hey, up, Jim? Jerry. Oh, Jerry. What's uh, Jerry. Up? Yeah. So, um, what's... Uh, what, uh, the definition, is, is it an age group? What is, what's the age group there anyway? Well, uh, we spoke a little bit about this, and according to uh, all consensuses, what they believe to be the millennial generation, generation as it's defined, is from 1981. I thought it was 85. To, no, 1981 to 2001, and both uh, Generation Y and Z are considered uh, millennials in that grouping. Yeah, okay. It's, it, it appears to me to just be an attitude. Yeah, I, I know people who are younger, older, all that, that have a millennial attitude. A millennial attitude. A I, uh, millennial attitude, yeah. Uh, Robin the Millennial, what do you think about that? I don't know what a millennial attitude is. Thank you for your call, Jerry, 479-1080. What, do millennials have bad attitudes? I don't know. Does Robin have a bad attitude? You said your hair was, uh, well, let's not go back to that. <laughs> Anyways, thinning. Thinning is the uh, correct Thinning word was the it. word, yes. Uh, if you want to speak with Robin the Millennial, give us a call. 479-1080. Uh, 218-5726. Here's a text. They say, hey, Dave, NES is still the best. That's a Nintendo Entertainment System. You can download an emulator and still play the good old games yeah, on your laptop. Cool. That would be Contra, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, Excite Bike, Super Mario Brothers 3. I could go on and on. But you can All the classics. On your, Those uh, are the classics. On your laptop. Wouldn't you what are your this? classic video games, Millennial? Yeah, Robin. Sega, Sega Genesis, what SNES. Game, what, what games? Um, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Aladdin. <laughs> that was a great game. That was a great game. Yeah. That, that was a fantastic game yeah. for the Genesis. And I think a lot of people didn't really pick up on it because maybe it was uh, uh, perceived as a kid's game, but that is a fun game. Maximum Carnage. That was another one. Yeah, that was, those are fun games, yeah.
This guy's cool, all right, Billy. Nice. This guy's I all right. You, I like him. Of course, him. he's all right. It's Rob and the Millennial. He's our guest, and we're uh, here Two one eight five seven two six. We really want, want to send calls. in a text. Uh, hey, Dave, I'm 33, and my pops is 59. I grew up on Zeppelin and Floyd, played Mario Brothers and oh, Duck Hunt on the, S- <laughs> on the NES. I guess I was raised right. Pink Floyd. Mm, I like um, Pink Floyd. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually a big... Uh, I'm not, I don't know a lot about music, but what I do know, I must say, I'm a big uh, Pink Floyd fan. I like Pink Floyd. Really? I like really? classic rock. Yeah, I like classic rock. And I like that uh, band, uh, in particular, Robin the Millennial. Now, Robin the Millennial, what about Michael Jackson? Do you like Michael Jackson? I do. I grew up watching Moonwalker. I think I broke two VHS tapes. Wow. Wow, wow. Now, here's an interesting one, and I know that you've spoken to me this uh, off the air, and that is you used to, and I think I'm getting this correct, uh, you used to care for Kanye West and his music, and now you're, you've come to a place of uh, not caring for it so much. Last time I was on, as a matter of fact, we played the latest uh, song from <laughs> Kanye that you had told me about, the old Poopity Scoopity. Poopity Scoopity. However it goes. The song so, that he has, a, it's not uh, good. Uh, yeah, it's 4-7-19-80. Let's head out to the dog park. Billy Sunshine, you're in the air. Hey, Billy. Well, hi, guys. Uh, hey, Billy. Hi, Billy. Hi, Billy. Um, yeah, well, so first of all, is it a capture and release? Are you going to let this guy go at the end of the hour? Yeah, yeah. It's we're we're going we're gonna to let him go at the end of the hour. Definitely, definitely. We're not going to rough him all up right. too bad. So here's my question for him. Uh, he thinks uh, uh, that millennials are, are uh, that, that they know stuff. Well, let me ask you. You voted for Trump, so that's a strike against you right there. What do you think of uh, What do you think of him now that he's been president a while? You happy with him? Um, not necessarily. Not at all. Yeah. What don't you like about him? Um, his political views. Yeah. In general, you have to also yeah. remember. I voted for Bernie Sanders, and I was raised Democrat, sure. so this was the first real election where I voted Republican. I just, I didn't Don't like do it Hillary. Ever again. Do not <laughs> ever vote Republican again. Uh, you know, the Hillary, you know, the reason you don't like Hillary, though, is mostly things you've heard, you know, from other people. I mean, literally, they make stuff up like, you know, they're having child pornography in the back of a pizza place. That's, you know, because Hillary did not kill 60 people like they claim. You know, Republicans are the ones who said that Obama was from Africa. Did you think that was good of Trump to have spread that? I never heard that. I heard that he really? wanted wow. his birth certificate to be shown, and I thought that was kind of rude. Yeah, exactly. But well, now that well, now Robin the millennial, now that Trump is president, what? Uh, and you're not a fan so much now, I guess. But what do you think about much. what do you think about his hair? It's thinning. <laughs> thinning. Mm. Back to the hair. Back to thinning the thin- blonde back to quaff the hair. of hair. Quaff to whom? My hair is so well, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm really old. Do you have any questions for me, Mr. Millennial? For uh, an old, old man? That'd be a good one. Do question you like Led Zeppelin? I love Led Zeppelin, absolutely. Okay. Well, yeah. maybe there's a strike what? for me. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, uh, all, uh, you know, uh, Led Zeppelin... Um, the Grateful Dead, uh, you know, all the old The rockers, Grateful uh, Dead need to be banned from the KSCO airwaves forever. It's too much, and I can't do it, and I don't know what Robin... What do you think about the Grateful Dead, Robin the Millennial? Um, too spacey? They're okay sometimes. Have you taken acid ever? Um, <laughs> are we talking about that on the air? Yeah, sure. Well, but he's bringing it up. I don't know if you're air. talking about it. <laughs> um, I have done mushrooms. Mushrooms, right? What'd you learn from that? Uh, an inward experience, inner peace. Brought out a lot of the Zen that I read. Cool. Yeah. So you're, you're, uh, you're introspective into experience. I am. More now, Buddhist Billy, Billy Sunshine, else. Billy Sunshine, you've been in the music business, and I was going to be saving this for the uh, next hour, and I'm sort of still, still saving it, but I will say this as a teaser, and that is, uh, what do you think, uh, Billy Sunshine, about the band The Seeds? The who? The Seeds. Yeah, I, um, I don't remember them. You don't remember them, really? No. He smoked yeah. a lot of pot, B- Billy Sunshine. Ah, yeah. Interesting. I well, remember we're, we're the gonna... grassroots. Do you remember uh, about... <laughs> pushing too hard? Yeah, yeah, pushing too hard on me. That's yeah, the, the seeds. seeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. pushing too. That's it. They're like a one-hit wonder. No, they actually have a few very solid albums. 
So that's really coming, uh, you know, that's going way back. What, uh, uh, what made you think of that? Well, there's a little teaser, Billy Sunshine. you got to stay tuned and listen to, to the uh, in, next hour because we are going to be discussing uh, the band The Seeds, and Rob the Millennial has uh, got a connection there, and we're going to talk about that also. Coming up here on Flight 1080, Dave Michaels, and I'm your co-host, Billy Army. Rob the Millennial joining us, and your phone calls here on Flight 1080. I do actually want to clarify something. I don't mind Trump. I actually kind of like him. What? Yeah, I know. Very unpopular view. The guy with the crazy hair and the uh, yellow orange yeah. skin? Yeah, yeah. The guy with the apricot skin? But he the... did it. He did it himself, you know? He did his tan himself. What do you? Uh, yeah. What, well, what specifically, Robin? Tanner. Can you give us an idea of, of yeah. what it is you like Why about you, him? How could you a little more specifically, like this? Yes. because some of our audience might He's be honest. surprised because you're a young fellow. He's honest. You're a young fellow. You're Rob. You're a millennial. Uh, Twenty-five yeah, you were, years old. You were old saying that, that you think millennials are more conservative, right? I think that uh, is He's the case. He's dishonestly honest. You know, he's very oh, honest right. about how dishonest he is. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of politicians try to lie, and he doesn't. He doesn't. You know, oh, I right. heard, I saw an interesting uh, thing, like and, I'm, and I'm a fan yeah. of, uh, I like Dennis Miller. That. I like Dennis yes. Miller. Um, big fan of Dennis Miller. And he said something interesting, uh, the comparison between Hillary and Trump, and I don't like to get into politics, but he said the reason that he likes Trump, or at least uh, over Hillary, is that with Trump, his inner voice matches his outer voice, whereas with Hillary, right. yeah. her inner voice, uh, outer voice, those, those two had never even met. <laughs> You know, interesting. They've never really been in the same room, and I think he has a valid point there. And yeah, I, I like uh, that. I like the way he put that too. Yeah, I like the way he put that too. So, Robin, yeah, what else what about Trump? Uh, just to wrap that up, and then we'll move on. But uh, well, um, I just like him. You know, sometimes there's not very many reasons you just like somebody. And do you find that a lot of your contemporary, your peers, uh, feel that way also? I mean, this is California, not and, really. and not only that, but in Santa Cruz, California, you know, this is a liberal hub. Um, and it's uh, re rather unusual for someone of your age bracket to be a Trump supporter. Um, or I wouldn't it? call him a Trump supporter. Or is it? I wouldn't yeah, call him a question. Trump supporter. Um, not really. A lot of people don't like him that are my age. Mm -hmm. A lot of my friends in Berkeley don't understand why. Yeah, you see, Billy, that, that's what I'm saying, too. I, don't, I like him. Do you, but, do you think the, the millennials are, are, are heading more towards a conservative route or, or, uh, or not? As much as they can let themselves. Well, what did you think about the? Oh, I know we're going on politics again oh, yeah. one more more. Yeah, but I try uh, to Bernie, avoid what politics. about Bernie? I just want to uh, really quickly for my own uh, edification here. Bernie Sanders. Uh, what do you think about Bernie Sanders? He was who I wanted to vote for to begin with. He's who I wanted to win. Is that right? That is right. Now, see again. I, think that, I mentioned that when Billy Sunshine was on the air. That's who oh, I, I originally voted for. I see. I see. Hey, Dave, do we have a call there? Uh, we do. Canadian we do. There? We also have a, a text message. Let's do that first. Right. Um, Grateful Dead equals right because this is texting. Grateful Dead is the most overrated band ever, and I've taken mushrooms and LSD, and I would have what to agree. Uh, the Grateful Dead. I have to. I, they got like two good I, songs, I and know. the rest See, is I'm just. On a, I'm bored with that. Well, I agree with you. The Grateful yeah, Dead. I'm overrated. I've right. always been into Led Zeppelin, so I agree with you. Random. Thank you, Texas. Well, look at this texter. guy. This is not very nice. Whoever sent this in. I don't want. Should I read things that are yeah. not nice? Yes. Sure. He read says it. millennials aren't more conservative. They're just more ignorant. Ignorance. They're seems, more educated. Ignorance seems more like the cool thing to be. Ignorance seems like the cool thing. To it was make. a cool thing, too, when you were our age. Yeah. Yeah, I Texter. Mean, yeah. Well, Seriously, Texter. Robin has a point. Four, seven, In nine, the ten, 60s, eight. trying to, like, say Shh, that they weren't. Come on. <laughs> listening to the seeds. Getting yeah. stoned out of your head. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Woodstock. Four, seven, nine. All right, let's get out to the phone lines. Let's head out to SoCal. John, you're in the air. What's going on, John? Hey, hey Dave. Uh, you know, Dave, I've been listening to your Flight 1080 now since, the, since you started, and I've always enjoyed it with my commute. But mm -hmm. i got to tell you, this guest is the most boring guest you've ever had, and that, that's just a constructive criticism. But uh, I'm, I'm, I think there's a reason why you're not getting any phone calls. All I right. think we've been getting phone calls. Thank you for the call, John. Four well, seven nine one zero. We have been getting phone calls. How do you feel like about that, that call, call, Robin? I mean, Probably I don't know. It. Yeah, I hated it. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Who lives in SoCal well, uh, besides me? Call in here to Flight 1080 <laughs> with uh, Robin the Millennial. That was your neighbor. And uh, we'll spread the hate here on uh, KSU 1080, Flight 1080. Okay, so why are we playing the seeds? 
Well, the seeds. Uh, you want to we, trade we, into that water yet? In. Let's, yeah, let's get into it. The okay. seeds here. Not only is this Robin the millennial, but uh, this is Robin Saxon. And he is the son of the lead singer of the band The Seeds, and founder. The Seeds, and founder uh, Sky Saxon. And what's his middle name again? Sky Sunlight Saxon. Sky Sunlight. That, that is, is a very awesome. '60s yeah, go rockin' awesome. '60s name. And he Sky continued his Saxon. career Sky, into the '90s. Sky Sunlight. 2008, actually. Yes, yeah, that's correct. And what Saxon, I did a little research, SSS. and uh, you know, according to Wikipedia, and that's oftentimes incorrect. But uh, the years that they were active, and this is under the name The Seeds, and that was 1965 to 1972. And the members, of course, were the lead singer there, Sky Saxon. You had Her uh, Daryl uh, Hooper, oh, John yeah, Savage, mm -hmm. uh, Rick Andridge, Don Boomer, and uh, Bob Norris. I think I might be uh, yeah, saying that. That's name, uh, the lineup. Yeah, so were they all local uh, locals or, or just uh, just your dad? They're from was... L.A. Oh, really? Yeah. So your dad is from L.A., but you you were born and raised here. I was born in Idaho, and I grew up in L.A. as well. Idaho. Yeah. Were you born on a Idaho? seed farm? Maybe. Is there such thing as a seed farm? A potato uh, farm. A potato, potato farm. farm See, full that's of a, snow. That goes to show you how much I know about agriculture. I haven't. But been I was only there until I was like before. five or six months old. Yeah, you got out of there. Yeah. That's all right. What are, the, what are some of the other songs that, that, uh, that you like? Or, or do you like your, your dad's music? I do, yeah. Yeah, I, wish, I want to talk about this. One of the few musicians tell me, tell I don't think, hate. I think that one right there, Try to Understand, was probably... Um, oh, think, that's a great one. In my opinion, better than the, than the first one. Uh, the, out of one the was. Question is also really good. All right, Out of the Question. I'll yeah, pull that one up. Uh, 479 if you want to speak we with, are with a live air. millennial. He's still Robin alive. Robin the millennial is here to take your phone Raw. calls. I am Billy Army, uh, co-hosting, co-piloting here on Dave Michaels Flight 1080. At the beginning of the first hour, we were talking about summer hangouts. What about uh, summer hangouts, Robin, uh, the millennial? Where do you like to hang out uh, come up summertime? I mean, you can't just be sitting up in the uh, just around room playing video games all day long like a lot of people think millennials do. Yeah, yeah no. Santa Cruz County. Um, For Santa Cruz, mostly Aptos, like I said. That's pretty much where I spend most of my time. Aptos. And see, once again, Dave, he's not going to actually give us the location or place. Who would? Aptos because, Beach. Uh, this is, uh, see, I didn't think this out, KSCO Flight 10 audio, eight, uh, 1080 audience. You don't want that us, is nobody wants to tell anybody. You well, you know, uh, I've got a list here of all the secret locations in Santa well, Cruz County you, that nobody wants. I can give you a couple places. Gonna, uh, I can give you a couple of really cool places to hang out. Couple of How's cool this? Places to yeah. well, How about Mountain Mike's Pizza, 3715 Portola Drive, right down the street from the radio station? That is a cool place. That I guess. is. They're, they're delicious pizza. pizza. Too. If the Warriors are playing, right, it's, it's, we're in the playoffs. We're really, like I'm a part the, of it. Uh, the Warriors <laughs> are in the playoffs, and if the Warriors are playing, you get 10% off your entire bill. Wow. Listen, if you go down to Mountain Mike's Pizza, 3715 Portola Drive. Cool. How's that for cool? That's that a cool place totally to hang out, awesome. right? That's awesome. There you go. Uh, I like pizza. I'm Italian. Might be fellow. headed there after this. There you go. Now, how about you, Billy? Where do you like to go hang out? I like to hang out uh, at coffee shops, as you may uh, oh, have well, figured out. Oh, well, coffee shops. Well, I was not purposely out, vague. I, I, coffee I like to hang out at coffee definitely. shops. I like hanging out at the ugly mug there. Isn't that what it, so millennials do that, don't they? What? Hang out at coffee I shops. hang out at Starbucks more than the mug. But really? Yeah. You're a Starbucks man. Yeah. Yeah. I like Starbucks. Do you think that most millennials like Starbucks? Probably. I mean, there's a lot of people there. Do you think that most millennials work Bucks? at Starbucks? Oh my God! Hey, you know, you know. <laughs> speaking of Starbucks, you know, I, I saw they they closed down the Starbucks for the for that training, right? This the cultural sensitivity oh, training, right. or the racial sensitivity training. And, 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 and I think it's I think it's so bad that they tried to uh, place the blame on the employees, right? Yeah, uh, it's silly. Know, what what you need to do is go after the managers or whoever's hiring these oh, idiots. Oh, totally. Absolutely. Those are the guys, right? Oh, it's, totally. it's not the... Uh, the, the they the, tried to spin it in a positive way, you know? Yeah. And, and people were just putting an eyeball on it. So, uh, finally... Is there a bunch of homeless because, people tearing up the bathrooms there now? Uh, I don't know. I know there's a few homeless people that hang out in front of Starbucks. Out, well, they can go hang out in Starbucks now because Starbucks says, you know, they can go hang out there, use the yeah. restroom, do whatever you want. Just go hang out. Go in there, use the I don't the think that's going to last for 10 hours, long, especially uh, in Santa Cruz. Don't right. order anything. Don't buy anything. It's not San Francisco. Just sit there you know? all day long, you know, read the Sentinel uh, 200 times in a row. Read order the good times uh, 200 times water. in a row. Uh, use the bathroom, over, you know, maybe steal a roll of toilet paper uh, to take. Hurting. Uh, I've never done that. Stolen roll of toilet paper? No, yeah, sir, I can't not say me. I have either. I've never done that. Have you, Dave? 
What? Stolen a roll of toilet paper Why from a coffee you? shop. Well, there are people out there uh, that but, yeah, they got a Safeway the, across the street. Maybe a millennial's going to use tight. the restroom next. I'll take Money's that. Money's tight. tight. I'll take that toilet paper and leave a millennial <laughs> stranded. Flight 1080. Oh, yeah? We are yeah. in the air. We got a caller in the air with us. What do you say about that? Thinning here. <laughs> we got a caller in the air. Flight 1080. What is going on out there? We are here with Robin, the millennial. He's taking your calls. And we were also talking about the seeds uh, that Robin, his father, was the lead singer of the seeds. And they're a band from the 60s and quite influential. You were telling me a story uh, earlier off air, Robin, about uh, your father and some of the uh, musicians that he's influenced. I wish it wasn't me necessarily That's doing right. this interview because I don't know music that well. But uh, I can tell, us that, in, tell yeah. us that story. Well, as far as I've heard, my dad, who was playing live shows in L.A., Jim Morrison would go, Jim Morrison of the Doors would go to the concerts and he was trying to make a name for himself, but he was shy. So he would perform with his back to the audience and mumble mostly. So my dad noticed that and they started talking and he kind of took him under his wing and helped him out. Yeah, sort of gave him tips or yeah. something. Maybe it would be a good idea to turn they around. They performed <laughs> together, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's very interesting. Got a lot of his swag from him too. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Yeah. What are some other, uh, did he do a lot of touring around the country? What are some oh, other yeah. bands you would have uh, toured with that we may uh, know about? Um, you know, I'm not exactly sure who he toured with. I know he, the last year he was alive, he was touring with the Smashing Pumpkins. Is that I know right? that, yeah. Interesting. They were really good friends. Cool. Uh, two one eight five seven two six. here's another text message. There's a ton of conservative millennials in this country. None of us want to talk about it because we don't want to have to deal with all the crazy liberals. That is you correct. You know, the ones who preach love and acceptance but have, no, they have zero love or acceptance for anyone who disagrees with them. Uh, 218-KSCO, the seeds are, are a knockoff of the greatest band of all time, the Kinks. A knockoff? What band do so. you have? I've heard of the wait Kinks. A minute, wait, I wouldn't say wait, they're wait, a wait. knockoff. They don't, I don't know. This. Look, I don't even know music that well, but I know that the Kinks sound well, different listen, than listen. these. I'd say if listen. anything... The Seeds would have been a knockoff of the Stones, if anything. Even and even that, then, dude. Mick Jagger. I hung hear out more. With I can hear. I actually hear more of a similarity to the Stones than I do. That I know. Yeah, the Kings. Wait, yeah. The Kings. Let's see, let's see. Even the, even the production quality sounds like more like the Stones. Actually, that's good stuff, dude. Actually, I have a I have something to say to the person that said that. Go for it. Yeah, I don't know. If, you go ahead and tell. I don't know if you have or have not, but I was raised around all of this music. So I've actually met both Ray Davies and Dave Davies of the Kinks, and we have talked about my dad, and in no way have they ever said a negative connotation to them being ripped off. So I think you're wrong. Well, But you're entitled to your own opinion. Obviously, your inside information proves that the caller is wrong, so we don't have to even discuss that. I mean, yeah. that's a uh, hardcore stone cold But fact you know what the they say about right. opinions, but the right? Call, no, but I think the caller was trying to make a valid point, uh, the similarities in some ways, but I don't see it on that one. They sound much more like you're saying is uh, the uh, rolling uh, stones there, a similarity. We got a caller. Uh, you're on flight 1080. We have several you're, calls. Let's start oh, off awesome. with, uh, with, let's Robin, go to Margaret. Let's, let's pick up Margaret. Thank you for your call, Margaret. You're in the air. Hi. Hi, Margaret. Hi. Am I talking to Dave? Oh, actually, uh, this is Dave. Robin the Millennial is here as well as Billy Arnold. Okay. Arnie. Well, Hello. Dave, I just wanted to say I was just driving home. And it's the first time I ever heard your your program on KSCO. I've listened to others. And I was um, quite impressed that, to hear that some of you younger men are voting for Trump or have voted for Trump. And um, I think that's a smart thing to do. I think that's who we need right now to help get this. Um, Thank you. Out. You're so welcome. It's very nice to not just get hate. Huh? <laughs> it's very nice to not just receive hate on that end. Thank oh, you. Oh, no, I, I know. I, in Santa Cruz, and I've been in Santa Cruz. Uh, my husband's a native Santa Cruzan, and I married him 63 years ago. So we've been oh. around Santa Cruz That is a long awesome. Time. Uh, that is. That is very awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations. Yeah, and um, so it's just uh, nice to hear some young men that you know, are, are open-minded and can take a chance and give somebody a chance and see how it goes. So keep up the good work. Thank All you. Right. Thank you for your call, Margaret, 479-1080. Yep, I think she was hitting night. on you, dude. I think she was. Well, you got to be careful. Hold on out there, Dave, because uh, next to Robin the Millennial here hey, is uh, 
is uh, his uh, lady, his oh. lady. Oh, oh that's And her okay. name is Michaela. She's sitting here. She does not want to be on the air today, but if she changed her mind, we can still do another hour. Okay. She may she got, some flare. We got more phone so calls, though. You want to get to that? Yeah, uh, let's You want to get to a text Flight message? What do you want to do? Flight 1080 text. Uh, text message, 218-KSEO. Adam from Ben Lomond says, a great Santa Cruz hangout is the Garden of Eden along Highway 9. At least it used to be too many Garden tourists now. That, never is even, a that is correct. Place. Yeah, it's yeah, getting the, blown up a lot. Yeah, I know. Though. That sucks. Yeah, that's why I don't want to tell people that I go hang out on Rockview. I, I, I don't know what yeah. that is. Yeah, I've that's exactly yeah. why I, I don't want to hang out yeah. over there. Yeah. I don't even know what it is. And, and the thing is, is we're going to get off the air, and neither one of you are going to tell me where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even heard of it. Four, seven, I might nine. tell you. Let's go out to the phone we'll lines. Uh, Mike calling from Santa Cruz. You're in the air. Hey, Mike. Hi. Two questions for Robin. Hey, Mike. I've noticed millennials like to, hi, like to hang out with older people versus my generation. I'm 60. I wanted to get away from my parents as quick as possible. And secondly, where does he think he's going to be when he's around 60 years old? Probably doing what my dad was doing. If not, you know. You're on a musical, you're, you're into doing music? Uh, yeah, uh, I do, I sing, and I play guitar and bass, I draw, I've written a screenplay. It's a bit I've of a tough question that. to answer, i got to say, too. It's a little unfair of the color. Hopefully I mean, in the how, history books well, yeah, to answer your question. At your age, Dave, did you know you're, where, where, uh, where's, who's going to be at what at 60, you know? Who knows that? When I'm at, Who when knows I was that? at my age. Or any know. age. I mean, how do we know? know? It's a tough... I, mean, tough. I, look like I mean, a lot of the musicians no, that you know, everybody out there is listening to haven't even made it to their were 60. Thank uh, you for your call, true. Mike. Four seven nine one zero eight zero dm at kseo.com. More questions for Robin the More Millennial? More questions. How do we do it? How do they do it? Flight 1080. Dave Michaels. Come on. Pilot, uh, Billy uh, Army is your the questions. 479-1080 here. Let's head out to uh, and, uh, Capitola. Text messages at dm at ksco.com. Oh, so many Capitola, beautiful you're spots in, the air. in Capitola. Chris, you're in the air. Yeah, hey, uh, I have four minutes to get into the bank and cash my check. I had a lot to say, but I'm going to abbreviate this real quick because I got to go. I played a uh, hey buddy, I played a uh, house party with your dad. Oh, the day back wow. in the nineties, okay. And let me tell you this: we had the lights set up. This that it was an all-day event. And, and your dad and myself and uh, some great musicians from Santa Cruz uh, the nice played. We did this, and it was the most magical thing I've ever experienced in my life. And caller, is there it, caller? Is I don't want to cut you off, but we're going to come up on a break soon. But is there a way you can call us up at the back at the top of the hour? Because Robin, uh, it would be interesting to hear you talk about his I'd like father. To talk to you because I'll actually, do it and I, did, I didn't want to put this on a, a depressing thing, but a few years back, Robin's father passed away, and you know, Robin's a young man. No, there's nothing depressing 20, about it. He lived every day to the fullest. Uh, there you go. Yo, Rob's 25 years uh, give, old. Give and, us a uh, call back, Chris. He's got to yeah. get into the bank. Yeah, so, call so, us, Chris. So go ahead and, Flight 1080. Go take care of your business, Chris, and then give us a call back on the on the other side of the yeah, break. All right. Great, great. We'd love to hear that. 479-1080-218-5726. For Rob the Millennial. Rob the Millennial. Do you know Text what silly, silly Putty and the Slinky are? I do. <laughs> Everybody loves. Thank everyone everybody loves should the know slinky. that one. Hopefully, those still exist. Everyone loves Thank the goodness. slinky. Yeah, those still exist. That's still around. Silly putty, though. I think maybe we had, waning. We had it's yak. We don't see too much. I think it was gak. That was our silly putty. It was, was that a, kind of like slime or pretty something? Pretty much. Yeah, it was pretty much the exact same thing. Yeah. Hey, Dave, do you like one? Do you? Oh, Dave doesn't like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Uh, um, right. four seven nine one zero eight zero two one eight five seven two six. Hold on to your hair, with, dude. With, <laughs> with Robin the Millennial, we'll be here for another hour. If you want to get on board, just give us a call, send text, or or um, or um, four seven nine ten eighty DM at ksco dot com. All right, now we got three minutes. What are we going to do with that? Well, I know that you've got a uh, topic right there in your hot little hands, Dave, that you want to mention. Oh, no one cares about this. Uh, Nobody cares about it. Bathrooms on airplanes being uh, cut down to 24 inches in width. Well, that's because we're trying to force Americans to be uh, less obese uh, cows. Well, where where are they supposed to go? Listen, I don't care, all right? You just uh, go in their pants. They can take a a catheter. Hey, look, Fox News is 24 7 trying to sell catheters. Seems like everybody in this country has got one. A doggy bag. Uh, or, you know, maybe just hit the gym. Look, I heard a, dis- a discuss. Yeah, like you brought the topic of the uh, airplane and all that. And here's the thing. Look, the thing is, is that uh, when you're in that airplane like that, you'd be lucky. And let's say it's tight. At least you have a place to go in there. Because men, like the great Andre the Giant, 
the giant, remember Andre the Giant, the wrestler? Right. Now, he'd go on an airplane, and he'd have assistants, and he was so large, he couldn't fit in the bathroom, so he'd have to do his business in the aisles, and they'd put a little what, uh, tent. He had assistants, yeah. So what? can you imagine you're on the plane, and he's uh, doing his business, and you're, it's a tube. Let's face it, an airplane is a concealed tube, and it's probably getting We've got weird ladies in there. present. I know, but I'm just saying, it's talking about the uh, airplanes. The... Look, if you got to lose a few pounds to fit inside of the bathroom, just maybe it's a good idea it. that you, you skip the two cheeseburgers on Friday or whatever. Yeah. I mean, come on. Americans, or, stop being know, so fat. It's getting ridiculous. Go vegan, maybe. I don't know. Four seven nine one zero eight zero two one eight five seven two six. Faded picture. Is this a good one to go out with? Uh, that's pretty sad. Uh, I'd go out with uh, Out of the Question. Out of the Question. Let me out see of if the I Question. Get that, that Can Dave fire it up? Have we fired uh, that one up? We come back go. from the we break. Right and Robin the Miller. Right <laughs>